It's the early shift for 120 miners at Yeraganyeft, the oil and bitumen extraction facility of Lukoil Komi, a subsidiary of Lukoil Group and one of the world's largest oil companies. Нефтешахтное управление Яригонефть это единственное в мире предприятие, которое добывает нефть шахтным способом, и условия труда очень сложные, да? Чтобы усилить, будем говорить, контроль на здоровье и в первую очередь, чтобы не было происшествий в шахте. Before their shift, miners line up to be examined for mandatory medical tests done by medical robots. The solution, called ESMO, is based on a medical examination system from Moscow-based Quasar LLC. The chairs take workers' blood pressure, temperature, and tests for alcohol consumption. То есть это получается в два, в три, в два раза, в два с половиной раза сократилось время прохождения досмотра. Installing medical chairs across all their mines, Lukoil hopes to spot workers' medical issues and prevent tragic, costly accidents in the future. SAP in Russia and Quasar are working to strengthen the integration because they see the potential to roll out this IoT scenario to other industries. Keifuku Bus Every morning, bus driver Masataka Hashimoto puts on a vest embedded with sensors. As part of a connected transportation safety project, the vest measures biometric data in real time. A joint project of SAP and telecommunications giant NTT. We start collaborating with NTT on this IoT project, uh, start from December 2015. And then very unfortunate event happened in January 2016. Working with SAP Labs China, NTT is creating a solution that combines sensor data from the bus, the driver, traffic and weather, all to improve safety on the roads. Arctic Wind runs the world's most northern wind turbine farm, where wind gusts up to 100 miles per hour, 15 below zero, and even lower in winter. Maintenance is challenging. You have to be really mindful about the weather and always have a backup plan when you do major maintenance operations. 1,000 miles south, simulation software specialists at FedEM, an IoT provider recently acquired by SAP, have built a digital twin of the Windcraft. The twin is fed with real-time sensor data from the original turbine. We can actually run a simulation with a storm coming up. And uh, is it worth a continuing operation during a storm or should we shut down the turbine to save some structural life? SAP is bringing sensor data back from the edge to the core, enabling companies to redefine their business with live data. Customers around the world are collaborating with SAP to transform the world of things into a world of insights, action and outcomes for our customers.